today's conversation series on health equity determinants of health and COVID-19. My name is Simen Dumbe Eyal, and I am with the National Collaborative Center for Determinants of Health, and I have the pleasure of being your host for today. So we've had tremendous interest in today's series, so we'll just uh, let people log in as they're coming in. Our presenters are on the line, and our vision for today really is to have a conversation with our guest speakers and with you, our participants today. We're so pleased you're able to join us. So needless to say, we are living in an unprecedented time in our history. And I think for all of us in our personal lives, in our workplace, we're trying to think about how we respond how we, and how we adapt our lives to um, the current COVID-19 pandemic. The National Collaborative Center for Determinants of Health, which focuses on supporting the public health field to integrate uh, health equity approaches in their practice, both in this, this series to support public health work in terms of an equity-informed response to the pandemic. Uh, we know that you're all very busy this day, so we're really thrilled to see you all on today. As I mentioned, my name is Sumen Dumbe Eyal, and I'm joined with my colleague, Asha Kaur Tete. The NCCDH is located in Mi'kma'i, which is the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq. And I'm speaking to you today from Montreal, which is the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mohawk peoples. I think as we you know, talk about COVID-19 and we acknowledge the land we live on, I always try and reflect on what that means for our present conversation. And I think one of our speakers today, Dr. Angela Mash Mashford Pringle, is really going to help us center in on how the indigenous knowledge is really help guide us as we respond to the current pandemic. The NCCDH is part of a network of six national collaborative centers for health. For public health, we are funded by the Public Health Agency of Canada, and each NCC has a mandate to provide evidence for public health practice. As many of you know on the line, we focus on particular issues. Our focus is determinants of health, and we're pleased today to have our colleagues from the National Collaborative Center for Infectious Diseases joining us today. I'd like to encourage you all to introduce yourself. Let us know where you're calling from, in from today, your name, and your organization. So as I mentioned, our, we're going to be hosting this webinar series throughout the month of April. And our vision is to host weekly conversations among public health practitioners, which will feature guests and experts in public health and hopefully in community spaces. And we hope that through this weekly conversations, we can provide some support and some, some real-time evidence which helps us in our practice. The, web, the webinars will be every Wednesday in April from 1 to 2 p.m., and that is an Eastern Standard Time. Our guests will change from, from webinar to webinar, but we're really pleased today to be joined by four great participants and experts uh, who have had the pleasure of meeting in person, working with very closely, and connecting with in different ways over the last couple of years. Our first presenter is Dr. Claire Becker, who is the Scientific Director of the National Collaborative Center for Determinants of Health. Our next speaker is Dr. Yoav Keenan, who is the Scientific Director of the National Collaborative Center for Infectious Diseases. Also joining us today is Dr. Kate Mulligan, who is the Director of Policy and Communications of the Alliance for Healthy Communities, and Dr. Angela Mashford Pringle, who is an assistant professor at the University of Toronto. Thank you all so much for joining us. So we'll let you get started and take a pause and get a sense of what's going on in the field. So when you registered, we asked you a couple of questions. We asked you, what opportunities are you seeing to keep equity at the center of the, of the, H, the current response to the pandemic? We also asked you what resources would support your work, what networks would support your work. We asked you what opportunities are you seeing to, to really move some, forward some key policy and advocacy issues. And the response you provide to us was tremendous, which we will be sharing back with everyone after today's call. So I'd just like to pull up a poll. And the poll you're going to see right now reflects some of what you told us. So in your responses, a number of you mentioned that you're working directly with communities who are most affected by inequities. So we want to get a sense of, for those of you on the line, which areas are you currently focusing in on? And you can select more than one response. A lot of folks shared that they were working on really trying to address some of the economic impact that we're seeing right now, folks working on housing and homelessness. We heard a number of people talk about food security. Health literacy was another big one. 
I really focus talking about the importance of ensuring that our communications at this time are available and accessible to communities in, in useful ways. There are a few comments around data and surveillance, um, providing social supports, addressing social isolation, safe drug supplies, and a few people mentioned public health capacity. All right, great. So it's really great to see your responses. So it's looking like a lot of folks are really working on a whole host of these issues. And I think for me, it was really encouraging to see, to really get some of the detail of what is already going on. And our presenters today have the information you shared with us. So again, thank you for that. And as we move to our presenters, they're really going to be trying to address some of these issues as they, as they share with you.